we go into superposition now. A long glass tube is immersed in a large tank of water. A tuning fork is struck and held above the open tube. So this tuning fork generates some sound waves that will go inside the tube. A loud sound is first heard when the tube is height h above the water 18.8. What does this mean? A louder sound. So you will hear the sound of the tuning fork, but suddenly when you change the height, you will suddenly hear the sound become very loud. Why is that? Because a stationary wave has formed. So if I draw it out, oh my, my, <laughs> my drawing is kind of crooked. Okay, stationary wave is the water level. The wave will look something like this. First harmonic, or I don't know what harmonic it is, but what I, I'm going to assume is a harmonic. Um, first harmonic, or the fundamental frequency. This is when your height is 18.8 cm. Okay, a louder sound is next heard, so the next loud sound, when the height is 56.4. So your length is now longer, I suppose, something like that. And this is 56.4 cm, or many times longer. I should have drawn a bigger picture then. And instead of having this pattern, you will now have a different pattern where it looks like this. I know how to draw these patterns, guys. This is a open closed tube. So, what has changed? When you go from the first loud sound to the second loud sound, the wavelength changes because there is an extra half a wavelength that has been squeezed into the tube. What is half a wavelength? Eh? Half a wavelength is from here to here. Okay. In the beginning, it's just this part here, but now there's another thing that is squeezed inside there. So, that will tell you a very important clue. Mm. What's the frequency of the sound produced by the tuning fork? To find frequency, you need f times lambda. But we don't know lambda. Do you know frequency? Mm. We need to find lambda. This is where the key comes into play. So the lambda over 2 that you just added will be the difference between the lengths of two pipes or two air columns. So that'll be 56.4. Actually, I mean, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me call this delta H. So lambda over 2 will be 56.4 minus 18.8. Ah, CM. By the way, so this lambda will be 75.2 CM. Very nice. So now we know lambda, we can calculate the velocity. Velocity will be F lambda. So velocity, uh, sorry, not velocity, frequency. 330 meters per second. Some frequency. Oh, I should probably change my lambda to meters. So 0 0.752 meters. That will give me a nice frequency of 438.8 hertz. Final answer usually rounds off to 2SF, so I bet 440 is the answer. Oh, yes, it is. 440. Fun fact, by the way, guys, if you are a musician, 440 is a standard tuning fork for the note. A, A A on the piano, A on the guitar, A on the violin, okay? That's 440 hertz. But yes, just remember that you have glass tube that's changing length. So you can have all kinds of patterns of stationary wave that will form inside there. But the important idea is, here is a closed end. So it will be a node. Up here with an open end. So that is your anti-node. Where the air particle will vibrate back and forth a lot. Or like something like that, up and down a lot. Okay, so that's your stationary wave in an air column question.